Ceftonir is a generic name for the trade name drug Omnicef. Okay, so as with all these other cephalosporins that we've talked about, this is has the same prefix. The ceph, C E F, are cephalosporins. Okay, therapeutic class is anti-infective. Pharmacologic class is cephalosporin second generation. Okay. The reason we're going to give ceftonir is for treatment of skin infection and otitis media. Its action, again, is bactericidal, meaning that it binds to the bacterial cell wall, and this causes the cell to actually die. Okay, so we need to understand that all these cephalosporins work kind of the same way, but they work on different types of bacteria and different types of infections. So the ceftonir works best with skin infections and otitis media. So it's something that you may see, you may give your kids at some point. If they develop a, a, an ear infection, they'll go to the doctor. The doctor might give them ceftonir or Omnicef is, is what it's uh, known as. Okay. So a lot of our nursing considerations are going to be the same for a lot of our other antibiotics and for our other cephalosporins. So the biggest thing to keep in mind here is we want to assess our patient for cephalosporin allergy as well as penicillin allergy. Again, a lot of our patients that have cephalo, uh, allergy to penicillins may have allergies to cephalosporins as well, so we want to monitor for that. It can lead to seizures, pseudomembranous colitis, C. diff, diarrhea, phlebitis at the IV site, and anaphylaxis. So we're going to want to be monitoring our skin for any sort of phlebitis at the IV site, and we're going to want to be monitoring for any sort of anaphylactic reaction, um, skin reaction, or any sort of anaphylaxis with our patient swelling, things like that. Assess for infection and allergies. Again, obtain our cultures prior to therapy. If we have that ability, we wanted to monitor and draw blood cultures to see what exactly we're fighting against so we can give the best uh, medication possible for that. We want to monitor bowel function, monitor for bleeding, and monitor our uh, CBC and looking for uh, what our WBCs are so that we can see are we treating this infection, is it improving, monitor our temperature, all those things that would uh, indicate infection. We want to be monitoring those things to see is our patient improving, okay? So those are kind of the things we want to keep in mind with all of our cephalosporins, but today uh, specifically we're talking about ceftonir also known as Omnicef. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to MedMasterCourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. The MedMaster course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.